All right, so like Randy, Randy and I were just talking about like his girlfriend and stuff, and that just reminded me like, I think the next topic should be relationships in, mm-hmm. in today's society and, mm-hmm. and everyone's outlook on it. And why I mean, they don't last long, yeah, yeah, or yeah, why they true. do last such a long period of time. Mm-hmm. That would too. It's like, what would you say your opinion of relationships is? I think my opinion of relationship is, if you're not serious, don't do it. If you just want to have fun, don't get don't brainwash somebody to thinking you're all in just for one one yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. Don't play simply for a guy. Don't do it just for one reason. But if you want to, you know, serious, then why not? See, me and my girlfriend been together for a little over three years now, and stuff has happened within those last three years that teaches you what a relationship is meant to be. You know, not always gonna be good, not always gonna be bad. It's gonna have your fights, having good times, but it's about what what you're willing to do and compromise for the for the other person. Like, not even just like talking about um, relationships. Okay, yeah. Um, so it's just like the fact of everyone gives up too easily with anything. Like that's even touching base on on our previous topic. Yeah, on career paths, on life, mm-hmm. on people. Like just the fact of giving up, it, it's like people, it's unfortunate, man. People yeah, don't try enough. Yeah, yeah. Try hard enough. People, people nowadays, they they get they hit one bump in the road and they're like, oh, this isn't gonna work out. Mm-hmm. So like even going back into the relationships, like. You, y'all could be together, y'all could be having fun dating and stuff, and then, like, it comes to the relationship aspect of it, and, um, it gets to the point where they don't want a label, for one, because mm. people have a problem with commitment, too. That's true. But, like, getting back to what I was saying about how, um, they give up too easy, like, one hiccup comes, say, just for example, we'll, we'll, we'll use an example of, like, what am I trying to say, like, even, like, and a problem with like compatibility with each other if like y'all don't want to sit there and work on it just don't bother like you're just gonna hurt each other in the end mm-hmm. you know what i mean you're just gonna waste time yeah like don't waste so much time if you don't know what you want and it's like there's there's people that want to be together but their compatibility is a little off Very, and they yeah. don't want to work on it, it so they give up so however much time you spend with that person is just down the dream because they give up that's true and it's like we we in this generation as a whole Granted, you could find someone you're compatible with 100%, but it's just a factor of putting in that effort and not giving up easily. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. I feel like the hardest path is usually the one that makes you the most happy just because you go through so much stuff. Correct. And then at the end of the day, you will find true happiness. Like, if you, um, if you remember the, the movie The Pursuit of Happiness, yeah. when Will Smith played that movie, um, he went through so much, so much crap for getting into like what he went to the for his business, the start the being a stockbroker. Went through so much stuff, being homeless, being star starving, sleeping in trains, sleeping on buses, like losing his losing his wife, so much stuff. And that was the hardest path for him, but it all worked out because he later on became successful at his at his job. Mm-hmm. And that's just that's his life. You know, you're never gonna go through stuff and not go like not find hardship or problems or yeah. distress it's part of life but giving up you, you're never going to be happy if you always give up that's just not right. how it works because you have to remember that saying it's not about the destination it's about the journey to get there that's very true the journey very to true. get there is what teaches you the most everybody wants to be so do i want to work what what i think here is like this, this generation today they just think that everything is a breeze mm-hmm. and if it's not they leave that's true which is a huge problem because relationships are not easy mm-hmm. i know that for a fact like granted i haven't really been in a decent enough relationship to even call it a relationship because everyone just leaves and gives up Mm -hmm. but like in that aspect of it you need to stay through the hardships you need to be there through the hardships and not just say yeah i'm gonna be there i know that firsthand yeah exactly for three 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 and a half years Mm -hmm. four years in april i know that firsthand it's not easy definitely isn't easy you know you go through so much so much pride you got to give up so much like time and effort you have to like stick through it no matter what happened and when you fight, you gotta know that if the, if the good times are better than the hard time, than the bad times, yeah. then it's worth it. If it's not, then okay, it's okay. Sometimes, yeah. if, if it's not worth it, then it's not worth it. But if you know that you're not happy without this person, then just stick through it. You know, just fight, fight through the. Bo- of my language, but it, it's part of it. And like, I'm not saying to, if if someone if if someone isn't right for you, don't sit there and force it. Oh, of course. But not. like, if you if you feel like you can you can last with them, or like you feel like you y'all can go somewhere definitely stick with it like granted some things aren't meant to be but mm. when it, when it is meant to be you will know and like i said if know what you want 
fight for what you want and if it isn't what you want it, it, no it's not it's not beneficial to you like if you're in a relationship that's abusive emotionally unstable you're not happy yeah obviously it, it, it you make, leave there it doesn't make sense but, but it's like in the fact of if you find someone that you want to be with obviously yeah. you stick with it mm-hmm and you, just, you, you like you it's, it's a little touchy there because like you can't be forceful of it but it's like if they have good qualities and you like those qualities even if it doesn't work out with the relationship you still stick through with friendship because if it's there like that that is a that is a true friendship right there definitely. that will that will last definitely and it's even like even friendships we're getting a little off topic but even friendships people nowadays just they don't want to be true friends and it's kind of annoying mm-hmm to me, I, I, I've had so many friends in my life, like from high school to do, um, pre, like just life throughout in general. I had so many friends, best friend, blah, blah, blah. But I say I only have about three, two or three good friends now. I say, like actual friends that I call my friends. I, I have a bunch of associates that I just, here and there I talk to, but actual friends, I say I have about three. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's about people who, who mean the most to you, that they, that's the one who sticks around with you. No matter what you go through, yeah. that's just how it is. That's a good topic too. We'll, we'll go to friends now, like friendships. Like even um. That was weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I I literally only have I could say I have two true good friends, mm-hmm. and one of them recently just basically fell into my lap. But mm-hmm. sometimes it's like the things that are unexpected that are the best. Yeah, it's very true. But like my true. my my one friend, he's been there since freshman year of high school. Like he he basically fell into my lap too. Mm-hmm. But it's like we're states away, and we're still we still have like that brothership. Still in like, touch, yeah. of course. And it's like, my opinion on that is, if if why y'all, yeah, I don't know why they have it in the road, but like if y'all want to be friends, you be friends. Like, but you don't you don't let stuff get in between you. And uh, if you do, then it, it's it's just not meant to be. Like, and it's unfortunate that girls are a lot different than guys are when yeah, it comes yeah. to friends. Cause guys, I don't have to speak to you, speak to you for a whole two three months. I talk to you one day. It's like I talked to you yesterday. Girls yeah. gotta be weekly. I talk to you every day. Yeah. Like. Guys aren't like that, which is I'm okay with that. Cause I'm not someone that's gonna talk to you every single yeah. day. That's not me. But I still have my friends, and they still got me. So you know, you, I'm whenever you're, whenever I'm needed, I'm there for you. Whenever you need it, you're there for me. Yeah, correct. That'd be bad. That's how forth. it should be. That's how it should be. And it's like that's the thing too. Like when we're, what are you doing? Not nah, the, the camera. Like that's so cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like even us getting older. Like people have a hard time adapting to things as well. Like, mm-hmm. As far as friendships go, like. Once you got out of high school, once we got out of high school, that was when life literally started. Like, oh, definitely. The, the amount of difference between what you talk to someone with and, and how people change is just eye-opening. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's a whole different world. And, like, if you're still in high school, you'll, you'll understand when you graduate. Yeah, you will. Because, like, you I will. had so many friends in high school, but as soon as we graduated, everything just fell yeah, off. Yeah, people just but went like, separate ways. Yeah, yeah. It really sucks, but that's how it is. Like, and you miss... People that you miss, if you like someone that you cool with, talk to in a day, on like on a regular school day basis, you know it's your friend. But once you, you guys leave, mm-hmm. it might not last. I had some best friends in high school as well, and now yeah. I'm talking to some people that I was cool with. So it's just how it's just how it is, man. It really is. But like with that topic too, it's like you could you can not talk for like months on end, and then they hit you up. So like they're still a friend. It's just like they got their life, you got the, you got your life. Like you need to understand that. Like there's people out there that are super clingy. Like oh why don't you talk to me? Like bro, like I'm trying to do me. Like I'm trying to get to where I want to be. And I could I couldn't deal with someone like that. That wants to talk, yeah, yeah. Those, excuse me. That wants to talk to you every single day. Every nah, that's not for me. Yeah. Talk to you every week maybe. Like I think that's a problem too. Like if you if you don't talk to someone every day, like nowadays people get hurt by it. And mm-hmm. I'm just like they need to. Have a better understanding of what life actually is because life you need you put need to put yourself first no matter what like i don't care what it is obviously if you have a spouse then yeah they go first well they don't go first they go second but like it's more it's more of a focus when it's a spouse you get me show my head like three times oh, okay <laughs> sorry i was trying to focus on driving i got you you focus on driving don't text and drive right, so i feel like we touched enough base on that topic um mm. I'm gonna say, if y'all like like these conversations, obviously, just give the input and we'll we'll keep going with yeah, it. Leave it on the, leave you in the comment section, give us a like, and we'll keep it going. Yeah, we literally have so much time where we could just sit here and talk about anything. And like, if you have suggestions about topics you want us oh, to yeah, talk let us about, know. Too, yeah. let us know. The more the merrier. Yeah, that, it would definitely be beneficial for us because we're bored out of our mind half the time. <laughs> but it's like if you have a topic, don't be afraid to say something. I mean, we're always willing to have input. And look for something new to talk about because eventually our ideas will run out. So we'll need other ideas to talk about. Mm. 
and I feel like pretty much every topic is not a bad topic. Like, you can pretty much branch off of it for a good amount of time. Like, the topics we're talking about, we're, we're cutting it short because obviously we can talk hours and hours on, like, the topics we have. So we're just, we're just keeping it short and, short and sweet, basically.